I'm on the job. It's not like I need the help. It's just, you know, you seem like all right folks. Meet me out by the old sawmill and I'll tell you the details. I know you're out there. You don't have to keep ignoring me. It's okay. Uh, sorry, listener. I'm, uh, having trouble reading you. Yes. You mean help. When you're ready, you know how to reach me. need to go pick up a few things from back home. The trouble is, the place is pretty trashed. I could use a hand digging through it. So, you in? Good call. Is being the dock are smart, but they need me to find more supplies for their crazy project. There's a shortcut to the house through the hills, but whichever way you want to go is fine. 
After you. That isn't good. Guess you like the scenic route, huh? Works for me. family basically ran this whole valley. My brother Job had a saying he liked to use when folks, uh, complained. The meek only get to inherit the earth when I'm good and done with it. Hold up a second. I got an idea. There's an old stash nearby I want to check out first. My family had stashes all around these parts. This one might have what I need. Coming in. Oh, shit. There's barely anything useful in here. Guess we gotta search the old house after all. You said you used to live up here? Why'd you leave? The army came in a while back. Blew up the whole fucking place. A lot of my kin grew up on that land. But not anymore, I guess. <laughs> Come. I don't get it. Why would the army blow up your house? My family's been running this valley for a long time. I guess the army didn't like sharing. My aunt sure as hell wouldn't have let the family give up without a fight. Oh my. You weren't kidding. This place is... Wow. Mm hmm Hold on. Something ain't right about this. What do you mean? The military trucks. They're transporting, not assault. I've noticed that before. Maybe we ought to take a closer look. It's a shitload of zombies. Fix the ticket. These trucks took a lot of gunfire. 
Yeah, but there ain't no shell casings here. Which means the army guys weren't shooting back. That makes no goddamn sense. Check them bodies, will you? Damn. They really bombed the shit out of this place. That man must have really pissed these guys off to make them do this. Hey, Mickey. I just found the orders these soldiers were following. It says they were just supposed to arrest, not to start a fight. Well, that'd explain why we didn't find any casings. But it don't explain why the army dropped a goddamn bomb on my family's house. Ah, fuck it. That ain't my war. Let's just find some supplies. Hold on. This journal says that Matt Wilkerson is responsible for all the destruction. Mickey needs to know about this. What you got there? Well, fuck me. I always knew Annette was a hard ass, but... This is just goddamn crazy. They were here just to arrest her and she blew up our home? And for what? Pride? Or maybe just fucking spite? Are you okay, Mickey? No, I ain't goddamn okay. I used to be proud to be a Wilkerson. Wore that name like armor. But I finally get it now. The Wilkerson name ain't nothing but a curse. Cost me my brothers, my daughter, now, my whole goddamn family. I can't look at this place anymore. Anything here you want, just take it. I'll find what I need somewhere else. Bye.
listening, because I'm in deep shit out here. Someone out there needs our help. I think I just wandered into plague territory. I just have to get this done. It's not nothing. Hello again. This is Dr. Hoffman calling from Mount Tanner. Thanks to your help before, we're ready for the next stage of our work. My colleague Isabella is already on site. I'd feel better if you were there to assist her. Doc, how many times do I have to tell you? Call me Isby. like this. That's pretty heavy.
have to slow down. Hey there, I'm Tressie. Thanks for coming. I got chased in here by some Zeds and I didn't feel safe on my own. Uh, hey, Lily. You out there? It's, uh... It's Mickey Wilkerson. I heard you on the radio. Talking to Santos. And why would that make you think I wanted to hear from you? Don't you have somebody to rob or beat up? I need help clearing out some Zeds before I could scavenge. You up for it? Good. That's good. Lead on. <laughs> Killer teamwork. Okay, I just need a second to look around for something. Feel free to take anything that looks useful. soft.
Want to know why the military was down here in such force? Come with me and I'll show you. I'll mark the location on your map. It's not far. I'm gonna show you something called the Plague Wall. Did you say Plague Wall? That sounds dangerous. Relax, it's totally inert, completely safe. Okay. Last magazine. Better oh no no no. These are plague walls. Well, they used to be. A few months back they basically took over downtown Marshall. Really? They don't look very aggressive to me. You weren't here. Luckily somebody figured out how to destroy them before they spread too far. Was that the army? Sort of. They threw everything they had at the walls, but nothing worked. Finally, one of their scientists cracked the code and built a bioweapon that took them down. Honestly, we got lucky. Could have been a lot worse. Time for me to head home. Thanks for the company. I hope this little tour was educational. Marshall is plenty dangerous, but not as bad as it used to be. And if you're looking to scavenge, it has plenty to offer. I'm curious. What keeps you in Marshall? I'm studying the ruins left by the destroyed plague walls. They have some intriguing properties, even though they're not biologically active, technically speaking. At the moment, I only have some theories, but... If they pan out, it could be a real breakthrough. If I need a helping hand, I'll give you a call. It's always nice to have a friend watching your back out here. You take care of yourself. Try not to get into too much trouble. I'm going straight there. Ready for this? Those plague walls all over town. They didn't come down on their own, right? 
heard the military developed some super anti-plague weapons, and I just know they left some behind. Grab your big guns. You don't want to fuck around with this one. Awesome! So downtown is pretty messed up, but there's a ton of military shit left everywhere. There are a couple of spots in particular I want to check out. I'm sure you're right, hon. Are we there yet? Oh, 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 that's a lot of Zeds. It's gotta be in there, am I right? I'm afraid I'm not convinced yet. Come on. The fact that you've never heard of a big secret weapon just proves it definitely exists. Not here, but I'm not giving up so easy. Well, they definitely know I'm here now. I know another spot that's gotta have what we're looking for. Fucking awesome! Guess you're on point. That shithole looks right. Who's the baddest killer around? Me, motherfucker! Time to start digging around. I should reload. Uh, yeah, found it. This has to be it. But the fucking awesome! You're the boss. Okay, this is the place. Eyes on the prize. Time to reload. 
After this, I'm out. That was my last shot. my new zombie killing act on the road to make a name for myself. I hear Danforth is pretty nice this time of year. Maybe I'll head that way. I'm sure you'll be fine, hun. Here's a little something, you know, for the effort. Be seeing you. Okay, I'm coming to meet you. You're the best.
Hey, yo, this is your neighbor just down the way. You mind helping us out real quick? We could use some help with the officers' porters over here. I can't do it, man. Sorry. I'm busy helping a new friend right now. Try me again later, okay? I was hoping you wouldn't say that. Someone would want this. Let me explain, or at least sum up. Okay, let me lay this out. I'll try to keep it simple. It's breaking down because it relies on satellites, which we can't fix. My brilliant plan is to download a local copy before the satellites really start falling apart. So you need my help to copy a computer program. <laughs> That's a drastic simplification, but yeah, close enough. So, you ready to go? Sure thing. tower we're visiting isn't functional anymore, but it should have enough of them inside for my plan to work. Them? What are you talking about? I mean Cleo. Doc calls them her, but I don't assume Cleo thinks of themselves as female, you know? I am so confused by all of this. to download an AI that's been bouncing around satellites for years. Can you believe this? Hold on, are you saying this Cleo is an artificial intelligence? Didn't I mention that before? 
Sorry, sometimes I skip over little details like that. Now, let's get rid of the Zed before we get to work. Thank goodness, something we can use. to establish a strong connection to Cleo's existing network. Okay. This isn't easy, so I need you to keep the Zeds away from me. FYI, it could get a little crazy. Oh, this better not be a mistake. I'm initiating the signal now. Coming in from all sides. You have to hold him off until I'm done. I'm afraid I'm not convinced yet. I'm confused. Hey, we just pulled the most complicated computer program in existence out of a network of orbiting satellites. There's some room for error here. Okay. The doc rigged up a talk box for Cleo. I just need to hook them up and... There. All connected. Cleo, can you hear us? <laughs> okay, I'm confused. Shh, just wait. Output device detected. This is the computerized logistics and executive operations system. Hello, Isby. Oh my gosh, we did it. They can hear us. I've got to get this back to the dock. Thank you so much. No problem at all. Hang in there.
one? Did you miss me? You know, I just feel like I'm in the right place with the right people. to learn something useful. Not possible. I seriously need a vehicle here. It's covered. No worries. Hello to all my neighbors out there. This is Tressie Huerta again, down in Marshall. I've met some of you, but I know more folks are coming to Trumbull Valley every day. I didn't grow up here myself, but I've been around long enough for it to become home. And I'm amazed at how well we've bounced back from some bad times. This valley thrived once, and if I have anything to say, it will again. It sounds like she's pretty committed to helping this town. Good for her. If you're looking to trade, just come on by. We got some deals. I'll do it. Nice. So, I know this ex-Red Talon guy who lives over by the fairgrounds. I figure he might know how to crack the encryption on this weird signal. Okay. You want me to swing by and pick you up? Uh, no. It's, uh, probably better if you go without me. Easier, I mean. Anyway, his name is Chavez. He's a decent guy, so you'll be in good hands. I hate to be that guy, but I gotta ask how that favor's coming along. friend is, be's a friend of mine. Call me Chavez. What you need? So, here's the deal. I'm happy to help you out, but I was just a grunt. Only the officers had access to shit like decryption codes. Are you still in touch? Can we talk to them? <sighs> Not likely. My CO died right alongside the rest of my unit. But I can take you to where she was killed. Maybe we'll find something. You sure you're okay with that? It was a long time ago, and I'm overdue for a visit anyhow. I'll mark the spot on your map. Oh, you were in Red Talon, huh? What was that like? It was... 
intense. A lot of people believing real hard that we were doing the right thing. And most of the time, I agreed with them. These days, I ain't so sure. I wasn't here when, when it all happened. By the time I showed up, all I could do for my team was to do the rest. I'm so sorry. Okay, we're here. Before I buried my friends, I packed away all their gear in case I ever needed it. Probably looking for something like a code book. Honestly, I can take anything less useful. But I use Totally help us out. That's what I always wanted. For that. the code book? Let me check it out. No room for that. Let me take a look and see if it's what you need. Yep. This is exactly what she needs. Okay. Now, this is gonna sound mean, but it's for her own good. Trust me. Hey, Isby. You listening out there? We found the code book you need. But I'm keeping it. Wait, what? You can't do that. I need it. Seems like this is the only way I can get you to talk to me. You'll get what you need out of the book. But whatever's going down, I want in. That is so not fair. Ugh. Ugh, she sounds mad. Are you sure this was a good idea? If it helps her to stop running away, it'll be worth it. Thanks. You really came through, amigo. Here's a little something as a reward. Take care, Essay. Drop off a little something from time to time. <laughs> 